Hello, and welcome to this short video on WebEx Calling for Microsoft Teams. In this video, we will quick, quickly introduce what is WebEx Calling for Microsoft Teams, and then we will get into a demo of the integration. So what is WebEx Calling for Microsoft Teams? This is a way for you to integrate the power of WebEx Calling into your Microsoft Teams environment. When the WebEx Calling integration is enabled, your Microsoft Teams users will be able to click one button and make a call via WebEx Calling. The call could be made in soft phone mode or in desk phone control mode. Just a quick look at the architecture of WebEx Calling for Microsoft Teams. So on the, on the user's device, the user will have Microsoft Teams deployed with the WebEx Calling integration enabled in Microsoft Teams. The WebEx app will register to the desired calling service, be it WebEx Calling or WebEx for Broadworks, or also Unified Communications Manager. When a user clicks on the call button from Microsoft Teams, the call will be made via the WebEx Calling infrastructure. And as I mentioned, the call can be either in soft phone mode or desk phone mode, and we support WebEx Calling, WebEx for Broadworks, and also Unified Communications Manager uh, based calling backends. So let's take a look at the actual integration next. So we'll bring Microsoft Teams to the foreground and we see user Colt Potts is signed into Microsoft Teams and Colt is enabled for the WebEx calling integration. So one of the first places that a user may see the integration is in a one-to-one -one chat. So Colt can click on the one-to-one -one chat with Amika, and we see that we have a new button at the bottom of the one-to-one -one chat page. So by clicking on this button, we will bring the WebEx calling window to the foreground, and the user Colt is being asked, does Colt want to make an audio call or a video call to Anika? So in this scenario, let's just select audio call. And immediately, this brings the WebEx calling window to the foreground. And I'll just answer the call on the other end. So now Anika has answered the call. So the WebEx calling window has been brought to the foreground via a single click from Microsoft Teams. So now we are actually in a WebEx call. So we have all the powerful features that WebEx calling offers, such as hold, transfer, conference, etc., and also invite to a WebEx meeting. Uh, we can add video to the call, or we can share our screen or share a specific application on the call. Once the call is over, or once we end the call, we're brought directly back into where we were working inside the Microsoft Teams application. So it's very simple to escalate to a WebEx call in a one-to-one -one chat. Another place where the integration is is, is useful is in the actual WebEx calling tab itself. So if we click into the tab, we see we have a number of features in here. We have a make a call tab, we have speed dials area, and we have the newest feature, which is recent calls or call history. So in the make a call section, we can search against the Microsoft Teams directory. So we can search for Anika and we get back results. And from here, we can go ahead and we can call Anika again via WebEx calling. We also have a dial pad in here where you can punch in a number or type in a number or simply search, search the directory again. So calls can be made from, from the make a call area. We're calling Anika quite regularly. So maybe we want to add Anika as a speed dial. So speed dial is a re really useful feature for adding both directory users and non-directory users that you may call regularly. So we can add Anika in here as a speed dial. So now we can just escalate to a call with Anika. Uh, we can click on the audio button or the video call button, um, and that will make a call to Anika via Microsoft via WebEx calling. Our latest feature is the recent calls tab or our call history. So this, we see here that we have an extensive uh, call history, uh, calling Anika. Um, so for example, we see that uh, we, we've called Anika yesterday at 5.45 p.m. and the 
the hand set and the arrow uh, indicates that it's an outgoing call. Um, and then we see here at 5.25, um, we had an incoming call with no arrow. So we can actually click on this and we see that uh, Anika Duke um, telephone number uh, made an incoming call to cold pots yesterday at 5.25. And from here as well, we can also uh, launch a WebEx call. Um, so we can click on the audio button from here. And once again, that will bring the WebEx calling window to the foreground. And we can make a call direct from WebEx calling by clicking a single button in Microsoft Teams. Okay. So for more information, please visit help.webex.com and you can search for WebEx calling from Microsoft Teams. And this will bring you to the page with lots of detail about the integration, such as deployment and uh, all the features supported by the integration. Or you can also visit the direct link, the direct link to get to that page as well. Thank you for watching.